my crafty friends, it's Crystal with Happy to Plan. I'm going to be doing a craft room tour today. If you haven't seen part one, go ahead and check that out. I'll make sure I leave a link right here for you so you can check that out. Um, this is part two and yesterday we left off um, over here talking about all of this stuff. So I will go ahead and, you know, let you watch that video if you're interested in seeing all the space that's over in this area. So now we're gonna concentrate kind of more on this area. As I first walk into my room, you see this shelving unit that you're staring at right now. And I love that. I love this shelving unit, it makes me so happy. So I'm gonna go through what's in the shelving unit. So at the tippy top of the shelf, I have this little gnome thing that I bought at Target Dollar Spot years ago. That's from the Dollar Tree, that's from Christmas present. And then I just have kind of knickknacks and things up there that, you know, I have those. That's my fall and my spring junk journals. I will leave a link up here if you're interested in seeing what those look like. These I just recently purchased at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> I've got some, my Bible, my books, some little knickknacks. This is actually from my dad. That's from my mom. That's from a church retreat. So I've got some knickknacks in there. So there is my, um, on the next shelf is my gold, little golden books right there. That C right there is really cool. It's a book cut from a, it's a C cut from a Reader's Digest book. Um, my sister actually got that for me for Christmas and that just sits there. This picture right here is actually something that my mom just recently gave me. It, um, it was a painting that she had painted and she had it in her mother's house. Um, and since her mother's passed, she now has given it to me. I do have a stack of books right here. This little knickknack came from a vintage store. Um, so it's just some of my favorite books are sitting there. This is from Ikea. <laughs> um, and then that little thing back there is from a vintage store that I bought some cookbooks. Um, didn't really know what I was going to do with it, but now that it sits there, I really like it. So I probably will just keep it there. I have my Reader's Digest books, a bunch of other books here. This is uh, from the Dollar Tree. These two little things. I created this um, with some paper and a couple little things that I had. And then down here, I have more books. <laughs> That is from a flea market. That is from a flea market. Those are little boxes are from the Dollar Tree at Father's Day. They're really dusty and I probably should have dusted them before I showed you them, but it's all right. And then I bought some postcards from New York, my New York trip. So that's just kind of sitting there in the kind of like travel section. So this last shelf has all of my junk journaling books. So sewing books and music books and children's books and all of my books that I have that I can use for junk journaling. That little kitty right there came from the Dollar Tree. I just recently purchased that and sat that there and I think it looks super cute. And then I have right here, that is from my grandmother. Um, that was her sewing, sewing kit. So I just have it kind of displayed there on this, the corner. And I do have these little contain, these little hexagon things that came from the Dollar Tree. And I like how this looks. I think it fits in this little area really well. And it kind of displays some of my special little knickknacks that I have. So now if you pan over from there, you get my closet. My closet is mirrored. So I'm going to try not to show you myself because I didn't really get all dressed up for this video. <laughs> so I want to show you what in each of these cube boxes things. Now this little shelving unit is also from Ikea, again listed down below. So let's go ahead and explore what I have in here. The first thing that I want to show you is right here I also use tension rods right here. These are my wall stickers from the Dollar Tree um, and I was having a really hard time figuring out what to do with them. So I have a, a tension rod from this like area all the way to the back of my closet and it holds my wall stickers and also my wrapping paper. So, and there's some tissue paper back there too. And a box of 
Project Life cards. So it's very handy. And We're going to start with the top of the shelf. This, these are all jars that I got at the Dollar Tree. And the thing that they're sitting on is also from the Dollar Tree. It's like the stackable. It's the two-tiered, um, technically it's actually three-tiered uh, spice rack things. So basically I just um, put them together with a zip tie and they're sitting on there and now I have all of my buttons displayed in cute little jars. These two bins right here are also from the Dollar Tree and this one holds all of my adhesives. So like all of my extra adhesives are in here. This one has all of my mailing packages, envelopes, bubble wrap, things in there. So I won't go through all that. So in this first cubby is my die cuts. Now I did an organize with me showing you kind of how I put this things together. So I'll leave that link here if you're interested in seeing that. So that is my die cuts. Down here are my Project Life cards. Again, I did a organize with me, which I talked about how I organized those Project Life cards and kind of where all that stuff comes came from. Those are my die cuts that are the bigger 12 by 12 paper packs that I showed you in that video. So that's what's in that little container. So these are my paper pads, my 12 by 12 paper pads. And that, yes, that's all I have. Um, I don't honestly have that many because when I moved, I did get rid of quite a few of my paper pads. I donated them to my church. So as you can see, I have them all labeled um, with the name on the side of what it is. And they're labeled um, on the, um, so I can easily pull them out. And this little long um, bookend came from Daiso Japan. Okay, so the bin underneath that came. This thing is from IKEA, so it's part of it's part of the things that go in this thing. <laughs> Whoa, it's heavy. Um, basically, this is all of my junk journaling paper. So, like any paper that I would want to use for junk journaling, I typically just come here when I'm when I'm starting a junk journaling project, when I'm going to make a new junk journal, I come to this bin and kind of flip through it and kind of see what papers I can grab from here. So that's what's in here. And since I'm on the floor already, I'm just going to pan over and show you what's in these two bins. So this one is, um, there's more junk journaling paper. And then basically what this is is just kind of hodgepodge of different things that you know you kind of need to organize so I've got some chipboard in here I've got more organizational boxes from the Dollar Tree because you just never know you have to buy them um, these things are for my sticker collection so which I'll show you in a second I haven't got there yet but I have a bunch of them kind of ready to pull out when I need them, if I need to add new ones. Here are the pockets that I have from the Dollar Tree. So I have one full set of the clear ones. And then I've got a couple of the colored ones, which I don't really like, so I don't even know why I buy them. Um, and then I've got, got like extra planner, happy planner covers, you know, just stuff, just stuff you need. That's What's in this bin is basic just like crafting supplies. Like I have my needlepoint thread in here. I've got another glue gun because you know you need five glue guns. Um, <laughs> I have this stuff from the Dollar Tree. So it's basically just a hodgepodge. There's some chalkboard paint in there. Hodgepodge of stuff. All right. So the next bin that I have, again, these are also from um, Ikea. They go in this unit. They're specifically made for it. I have this label on here, and I don't know if it's going to stay. But all right. So I pulled out the thing and set it on the floor. And I probably don't have this as organized I, as I could. Um, but basically what it is is my letter stickers. So, yes, I do have quite a bit of letter, letter stickers. Um and basically I have them sorted in the plastic 
things from the Dollar Tree that I just showed you. Those little plastic envelopes. Um, again, I have them in clear. Um, and I have them color coordinated. So I have like pinks and um, metallics. I have um, yeah, brown, black, white. Then I have like puffy ones. So they're all kind of in here. As you can see, I've got some that I need to actually stick back in the... I haven't been very good at putting them back in there, putting them back in their own spot. I need to label the envelope. I think that will help me be a little bit more organized with my label stickers, but it's kind of one of those things that's out of sight, out of mind. I just throw them in here and then they're out of sight, out of mind until I need them again. And then, I don't know, I probably need to do better at organizing, keeping these. Okay. So now we're going to just go straight back up. So these are my paper pads, my six by six paper pads. I'm just going to pull this out. Sorry for the shadow. Basically, just give you a peek at what's in there. Six by six, eight by eight. This is an eight by eight. A couple of different paper pads that's in here. And then my stamps are in here. So I'm going to pull this out and show it to you over on my desk. Okay, so here are my stamps that are in that bin I just showed you. And basically I never use stamps. So I don't even know why I own stamps because I literally never use stamps. Um, but yet I continue to buy them because I don't know why. <laughs> so each of my stamps are in these little plastic bags that I bought at Daiso Japan. They're a nice kind of thicker material bag. And they're just kind of in here in no particular order, but each stamp has its own bag. And then I have this little bin of my distressed inks, and then more inks, and then there's a bunch of um, stencils, which I actually do use my stencils. So, yeah, so those are all in there, and then I've got wooden stamps right here. So that's what's in this box. Then, so the next three shelves, I'm going to take them out and put them on my desk and show you them. But I want to show you them in the um, shelving unit before. And again, you have to excuse the, the, the shadow. I'm so sorry. I'm doing the best I can with the lighting I have. Um, but basically I have like all my flowers, my bows and my like enamel dots in these containers. Then if you scroll down, scroll down. <laughs> if you go down, these are the boxes that I just recently purchased at the Dollar Tree. I will go through those and show you those. This little container right here is actually, um, it's kind of tightly sitting in here because um, I use this for when I need to store my stickers, like when I need to file them, I stick them in here as a filing place. And they, it just so happens that it kind of doesn't really fit in here very well. So it's kind of nice because it kind of stays like up on here. And then I can pull these out pretty easily. And then I have in here, I have all of my stickers kind of by organization. So I'm going to go ahead and, like I said, pull these out of here and show them to you separately so you can have a better look at them. But that's basically where they sit in my classroom. So like I show, so these are the flower containers. So I showed you them in the shelving unit. This is what they look like outside. So basically these containers I bought at Daiso and I love them because as you saw, they fit pretty snug in that space. And um, so I know that they're like nice and secure in there. And basically I just have all of my flowers kind of sitting up in the packaging and it works out really well because I literally can just flip through and look at what I want. This has like a little bit, um, bigger packaging in this one. So I have it a long ways. And then I have just a bunch of random flowers in here. And sorry, sorry for the crinkling. I'm sure that was not fun. Okay, so this has all of my bows in it, organized very similarly the same way, and I'm trying not to move it too much because I know that crinkling is really loud. 
but basically it's just a bunch of bows and then I have a little container with a bunch of random bows in it so that's what that is and then oops, I'll move this on this side um, these again are all of my enamel dots again kind of sitting up right so I can kind of flip through and it's like a little filing system so I love these containers I was really happy to find them that's kind of a, a tip that I have for you is when you are trying to organize your space don't settle on the wrong container find the right container because I promise that'll be your saving grace if you can find the right container <laughs> speaking of finding the right container that's what these are these are the containers I recently bought at the Dollar Tree and I am so in love with these things I hope they continue to um, have them in their store because they are so awesome and amazing and I love them and you can see I've already used them in several different ways so this is my stickers now these are not all of my stickers as you could see from the first video I've got a lot of different sticker collections and areas that I have stickers basically what this is this one right here you can see it's named miscellaneous because it literally didn't fit in any of the categories then I have this one that has all of my Christian phrases and words so if I'm looking for something like that I can grab that bin this one has all my flower stickers in it most of these are from the Dollar Tree this one has phrases in it so again if I'm looking for a word or a phrase I can come in here and just flip through and kind of just find something find what I want and it's an unmanageable um, it's a manageable amount of stickers that I can just kind of flip through them real quick and try to find what I'm looking for without having to go through a bin, big bin of stickers. This one has sticker, uh, same thing, phrase stickers, but they're puffy. So like anything that has dimension, um, like anything puffy or dimensional um, is in this one. And then this one has summer. So it's kind of summer themed stickers. So... And again, as you, as you can see from where they sit, it sits pretty well in that little area that I have them in. Okay, so I have to put a disclaimer on these four ring binders that I have. I bought these at Walmart. They were on clearance like two years ago. Um, I love the sparkly one <laughs> and the teal. Um, but basically, these are probably not going to look very organized to you. But for me, it works because I know what my stickers are. I'll show you this one first. This one is animals. So it's all of my animal stickers. So literally every single animal sticker that I have is in here. So I'm just going to flip through this really quick. And you can tell I wrote on it. I want butterflies and birds. So that's animal stickers. And literally all it is is those little plastic containers, those little plastic pouches with a white piece of paper in between so that I can keep them separated from back and front. So that's my animal one. And then I'll show you this one next. This one is my um, sets. So this one doesn't really fit a category, so I just kind of threw all these big words in here. But basically, I have a lot of stickers from the Dollar Tree, like these stickers, these types of stickers, and I wanted to keep them all in one place because I like to use them for like the labels and stuff. Um, I actually just used this one in a planner layout that I just loaded um, on my channel. So I like having them together. I like being able to see them. So you can see I have quite a few of these stickers in here. And so I just kind of, when I'm doing a planner layout, I can kind of flip through it really quick. It takes me seconds to flip through it and look to see if there's anything in here that's going to match what I'm doing. Now I also have fun, <laughs> these are also from the Dollar Tree, um, just fun stickers that I bought. I don't even know what I'm ever going to use them for, but as you can see, I have not used them yet. <laughs> and again, sorry for the glare. Um, 
there, that's a little better. Um, and then I just have like random sets back here. And then these are all big word stickers from Mambi that I bought it like for nothing at Tuesday morning. I think they were like $2. Um, so yeah, so again, not super organized necessarily, but accessible and I know what's in them. Okay, so this one is really gonna look crazy when I open it. <laughs> but I promise in my mind it works. For me, it works. And really that's all that matters. And people said they wanted to see this, so I'm that's why I'm showing it to you. So, okay. <laughs> so this is a set of stickers that all go together and I have the paper pack for. Um, this is also a set that I have the paper pack for. I'm gonna try to get rid of that glare. This is Wonder Woman. So I'm gonna do a Wonder Woman theme um, probably during ha Halloween. Oh, and um, there's a bunch of spoilers in here. So if you don't wanna know what my planner themes are gonna be, <laughs> you might not wanna watch this video uh, or this part of the video. Um, but then I have my seashells all kind of together. And again, these aren't just stickers. These are like my planner kits. So literally when I'm ready to do my seashell theme or my ocean theme, I can just come grab this thing, just grab everything out of here. And I literally have everything that I would want to do that planner layout. Um, here's my Barbie one. So I have some Barbie stickers and I wanna do a Barbie layout. Unicorns, feathers, um, like a recipe or kitchen set. These are all ice creams and um, soda, like ice creams. These are cupcakes. Um, that is a work in progress planner layout. Not sure about this one. This is kind of like an up girl, uptown girl shopping one. Um, I've got two different things in here for camping. Um, Guardians of the Galaxy. I actually have already done this one. See, this is kind of a boho theme one. I have a summer kit, summertime kit in here. I have paper for this. I have paper for this one. I have paper for this one. And then I have like a family one. And then this is kind of like a vintagey one. So I don't necessarily won't do all of these like planner layouts, but it kind of are all together. So if I did want to do a planner layout with seashells, I can come grab it and use it. And on the same line, that's what this is as well. Now these, these are actually definite layouts that I'm going to be doing this year. The other one I just showed you are possible layouts that I could potentially be doing, but these are definitely ones that are in the plan, like on my list to do this year, because I really want to use up my stash. That's my, really my goal this year is to use a lot of my stash. I've had these stickers in this book for so long and I'm like, I gotta use them. So I'm really gonna try to use them this year. So these are the stickers and then I also have the paper. So again, this is kind of like a, like a kit that I have ready to go. Um, so here is another one. Again, I have this all ready to go with the paper behind it that I'm gonna use. These stickers with the paper. So it's kind of like planner kits that I make with my own stuff, my own stash that I found. I'm gonna do like a picnic theme. Uh, this is like a butterfly or bird theme, another butterfly theme, a makeup theme, a princess theme. I've got way more princess stuff than I need. This back and front is done with this one. And then I have a pirate's theme, birthday. I wanna do a gold and white theme. And then I also have this one that's like a like a flowery one. So um, so that is my sticker collection. Okay. So I'm on the floor again. <laughs> and um, so this is under my desk. So of course I have storage under my desk. So I'm gonna go through what this is because I feel like I've utilized the space really well. I'll talk about these boxes right here. These are from Michaels. So I'll, I'll actually, all these things are from Michaels. The boxes and the little white cube boxes are from Michaels. 
So let me talk about, let me kind of start from this end and go this way. So I'm going to start over here and go this way. Okay, so in this little box right here, this project box is a bunch of stuff from Pirates of the Caribbean. I made a junk journal using a Pirates of the Caribbean book that I found. So I have a bunch of stuff from that that I didn't want to get rid of because I probably will make another one. Um, I have that box, the, I have the book done and it's, it's being used right now. It's actually being used as a guest book for my guests when they come into my house. So, um, but I have a bunch of other stuff, but I just kept it just because I knew I'd probably want to make another one. I don't really necessarily need to keep it there, but that's just kind of where it lives. All right. So let's talk about these things. So these, all of these are from, um, the Michaels, they're from Michaels and it's all like kind of junk journaling stuff that I use for my junk journals. So envelopes, I've got journaling cards in there and then I've got like tags and stuff in there. And I mean, they're, I'm not going to show them. I'm not going to open it up and show it to you. You can see by the label what's in it. Um, and if you watch my journaling videos, you probably have seen me pull those out and flip through things. So, and then in this bin right here, which is overflowing, I need to get another one. It has a bunch of paper from junk journal. So it's basically like a scrap book paper, like all my scraps of paper, um, tea dyed paper, book pages, music sheets are all in there. And again, like you can tell it's like overflowing. I mean, I can close it, but I don't really want to because I don't want to squish the paper. All right, so now I want to talk about these boxes. <laughs> and I, I said earlier, so I said earlier, and I'll say it again. You got to find the right storage solution for you. Even if that means you've got to make it yourself. So I needed a way to store loose paper and I didn't want to spend lots of money on custom shelving that like went in these like slots. Like you can buy like those slot things that you can put in here. And I just didn't want to pay for that. So <laughs> this is what this looks like when you pull it out. <laughs> um, I know it's not pretty, but it works. So this is actually a box that I bought at the Dollar Tree. Now it's a hard box to find. It's it's definitely not an easy box to find. It's a, um, it's 11 by 12, I think. I don't know if I have the dimensions because I cut it open. Basically what I did was I took the box. I think I want to say it's a little over 11 and like 12 and three fourths. Um, so I knew that it would fit paper because it was 12 inches. It was longer than 12 inches, um, but it wasn't going to fit it in the box. So what I did was I basically cut an opening in the box and I taped it all the way around shut. And then I put white duct tape on the front so that it was white. I know it's not pretty. I know it's not fantastic, but you know what? It's better than cardboard. And yes, I could have probably put paper on it. But I didn't want to go through all the problems and I, it, it's fine. It is what it is and it sits there and it, it's functional and it doesn't look horrible. <laughs> um, so I basically have just kind of organized my paper into different sections. These are similar to what I do with my happy planner kits that I just showed you. I also do with my junk journals. So my junk journaling ideas. So basically what I have is um, right here, this is all of my strawberry paper. And then again, I use those plastic bins from those plastic envelopes from the Dollar Tree. And I put all of like the junk journal things that go with that theme in this bin. So this one has the strawberry one. It's got a party one in here. It's got um, Reset Girl. Um, it's got this fabulous 50s one. So again, I've got the all the little envelopes to match it. So that's what's in this thing. So I have grand designs to do all of these projects and you know, they don't hardly ever get done. But when I do have time to work on them, I will be working on them. For this one, I actually taped two of the boxes together 
one when I did this after I did this I was like well, why am I doing that it's that's kind of pointless so I didn't I didn't do it for the rest of them but um this one again has a bunch of junk journaling kits in it so I've got like a cowboy one that I want to do with this cowboy paper um there's a travel theme one in here a camping one um there's a ocean theme one tea party sewing recipe so again I've got all the paper and everything like built in in with kits this little bin sits in my desk underneath my desk and it ha holds all of my um, happy planner sticker books I have two of these so I have one and then I have another one behind it um, and that one has like more miscellaneous stuff so these are basically all of the happy planner sticker books I have um, and then I just, then I put the ones that I just bought at Michael's, the hot buy ones that I just bought at Michael's behind there. And this is the same bin that I have for my flowers and my, um, all the stuff I just showed you. It's the same exact bin and it works perfectly because they're upright and I literally can sit at my desk and just flip through these really quick and I can pull out the ones I want. So yeah, I really like this, these bins. They really have come in handy. Okay guys, we are almost done. We're down to the wire here. I just wanted to show you that is the, this right here is what I just went over. I opened up my closet on the other side and now I have this. So, whew, I'm tired. Okay, so this, okay. So I'm gonna walk through what each of these things are. I'm gonna back up a little bit. Okay, <laughs> so as you can see, I have my mirror door is right there at my closet. So I opened it up on the other side. That is where the shelving unit is that we just went over. And you can see now I have more storage here. So these bins I just recently purchased at Walmart. And they're the plastic drawers that pull out. And what I basically have in here is Valentine's Day, Easter, Halloween, fall. And then the last two bins at the bottom are Christmas. And then that's Christmas paper, that's Christmas stuff. This is actually um, journaling car journaling journals that I'm working on right now. This is stuff that I have in my Etsy shop. Not that anyone ever buys anything from there, but um, <laughs> that's stuff I have in my Etsy shop. If anyone ever buys anything, I just go in there and I can grab it. This is a, another thing that's in my Etsy shop right now. It's a three ring um, garden book that I have in my Etsy. I'll leave a link. I'll show you right here what it looks like. Kind of sneak peek. If you want to see the full flip through, I'll leave a link up here. But that's basically what's in this. I'm not going to go through these drawers because I'm tired. <laughs> and it's they're just it's just stickers and paper and holiday stuff. All right, guys. Well, that is everything that I wanted to share with you today in regards to my craft room. If you haven't checked out the first portion, go ahead and do so. Um, but I hope that you guys enjoyed. Um, I would love to hear if you have any ideas about something I could do or if something that I did sparked um, some inspiration in you to do it the way that I'm doing it or whatever. If I gave you any great ideas, I would love to just hear. Um, this took a long time to record this video. Um, I know it's probably not going to be a three hour long video. I hope not, but it took me about three hours to record this actually longer than three hours because of all the stuff, the prep work I had to do before I actually recorded it. So, um, I really hope that you guys found inspiration in this space and um, I hope that it gives you inspiration to do whatever you can in the space that you have and make it your own and and just create something happy for you. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. I will see you again real soon. Bye for now.